The clip store key is located above the image key in the home base area. The protocol key on touch screen allows the user to alter the length of the clip capture. The factory default for the protocol time length is 30 seconds, however, other times up to 90 seconds are available by accessing the on-screen menu. If a longer clip capture length is required, customized clip capture lengths can be programmed in the system configuration and saved as a preset. Customized clip capture settings will be reviewed in a later section. Note that if EC Fusion is activated the timer can only be activated from the Fusion tab. Each page of the touch screen contains contrast-related soft keys at the bottom of the screen. To adjust the controls, rotate the soft key on the control panel clockwise, counterclockwise to obtain the appropriate setting. This section of the presentation focuses on these soft key controls. Transmit power will vary with the selected transducer and is used to manage the mechanical index or MI level. Available settings are approximately 0.10 to 100%, default setting is at 0.25%. Transmit power is kept very low in contrast imaging to help maintain bubble integrity, and it is important to remember the impact of power prior to any adjustments. Higher power equates to more penetration in the image however more bubbles are destroyed when the power is higher. Frequency also affects the bubble life and tissue penetration. Lower frequencies give better tissue penetration but at the expense of the bubble integrity. Higher frequencies results in longer bubble life but decreased penetration of the tissue. Contrast imaging is always a balance between achieving a good image quality while maintaining bubble integrity. Mechanical index directly impacts bubble integrity, higher mechanical index equates to higher bubble destruction. During a contrast exam the MI is kept as low as possible, however the acoustic pressure will always be the highest closest to the transducer, despite any focal zone compensation, frequency, or power output level. There are two mechanical index levels displayed on the image screen, the overall mechanical index, ME, and the mechanical index at focus or, MIF. The mechanical index at focus displays an accurate account of the me at the level of the focal zone, which on this example is lower than the overall me of the image. Maintaining an appropriate focal zone level during a contrast exam will contribute to a longer bubble life and extend scanning time. Most contrast agents recommend keeping the focal zone as low as possible in the imaging field. Contrast overall gain is controlled by a soft key and displayed on the image along with the overall gain of the 2D image. The contrast gain is separate from the 2D gain much like Doppler gain is separated from the 2D gain. In this image the 2D gain is 0 dB while the contrast CHI, gain is minus 1 dB. The 2D overall gain is controlled by the hard key on the control panel. Individual depth gain compensation DGC, keys for the 2D image are located on the right side of the control panel. Tissue equalization technology TEQ, key will optimize both the 2D and contrast image when selected. There are instances where it is necessary to destroy the bubble integrity and observe the reperfusion of an ROI. There are two options for bubble destruction. Burst or burst frame is the alteration of the low me imaging state to that of a high me imaging state for a specified number of frames. The burst frame will destroy the bubbles during live imaging and then return to the low me imaging state once the number of specified frames has expired. Contrast agent will reperfuse the ROI when the low me state returns. 
To perform a burst, select the number of frames by rotating the control panel key left or right and then press the same key to start burst. Micro Bubble Destruction MBD, is another high MI technique to disrupt bubble integrity. MBD is a combination of a high MI burst and a peak hold persistence or duration that will layer contrast in the image over a set time. MBD and duration are measured in seconds. Both techniques are visualized in the same clip. Initial contrast perfusion in the region of interest occurs until 22 seconds into the clip, at 23 seconds the burst is applied and the contrast momentarily disappears from the image as the bubbles are destroyed. The contrast reperfusion occurs until the MBD is applied at 31 seconds and destroys the bubbles again. Immediately following the MBD is the peak hold persistence that holds the image and layers the contrast within the image. The MBD sequence is then repeated a second time. Frame rate is adjustable and found on page 2 on the touch screen in the list of soft keys. Higher frame rates will improve characterization and detection of lesions however higher frame rates contribute to more bubble destruction. Lower frame rates will maintain the integrity of the bubble for a longer period but there is risk of limiting visualization especially in lesions with a fast wash in or out. There are application-specific settings within system configuration that can be altered if the standard settings differ from the needs of the installation site. Should a required clip capture length not already be preset, a customized clip capture length can be added to the system. Select System Configuration from the Tactile Keyboard and select the Mac Protocols. Under the protocol list select Contrast Time Perspective, then select Add. Box will open labeled Time Perspective Protocol. Enter the desired time length and press OK. The newly customized time will populate in the list under Capture Definition. Use arrow to move the customized clip capture time to the default position at the top of the list and select save. To link the new customized time setting to the exams used for contrast, go to basic system 2 in the system configuration menu. Under default protocol settings select the new setting from the contrast drop down menu and save it with the desired exam, that is abdomen or all exams. Customization of the CPS capture or duration settings are also found in the DMAC protocols tab in the system configuration. Locate the contrast box in the lower right corner. To alter the duration of capture in seconds select the arrow and a drop down menu will populate a list of choices. Choose selection and select save. To alter the system activity once the duration is complete, select the desired system behavior from the corresponding drop-down menu and save. To auto-start the duration once the MBD has finished, select on or off save. Default setting for auto-start is on. This presentation has covered the components of the user interface and reviewed system configuration relating to contrast.
Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Siemens Healthcare Solutions. Bye for now.